Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing an all day wear test review on the Jouer foundation. <laughs> so I do like how it went on. Kind of went on a little bit. I put it on my brush. It was kind of watery. Very watery. A lot more watery than I'm used to. Totally opposite of the Marc Jacobs, for instance. So I dabbed it all over my face. I took the brush, buffed it out. The color was a little lighter than what I had hoped for, but first impressions is that I like how it went on the skin. It looks very pretty, kind of like an airbrush finish. So that part I like. Yeah, that part I like. So I'm hoping that by the end of the day, it holds up well. I did use Scandinavia for my primer spray and my setting spray. So that's what I use for primer and setting. And I'm just hoping that this wears as good as it looks right now. Um, can we just kind of, I don't know, pause life on my face and but still work through the day? Does that make sense? I just want my, my skin to look like this for the rest of the day. That's all. That's all. Is it too much to ask you, eh? But anyways, I am really looking forward to seeing how this goes. It's a high coverage cream foundation, hyaluronic acid, matte, and oil free. This color was in sand. So again, for as light as it was going on, I'm really shocked that it is as full coverage. I can't see all my little leopard spots from aging so that's pretty cool but anyways we're gonna see how this works so please stay tuned okay we bounce this in with a blender and it seems still a little bit lighter than I would like so even though this is a lighter color I'm still gonna go with the all-day wear test so we're just gonna keep going forward. Ha. All right, so what do I think initially? It really goes on nice. I mean, for as liquidy as what it came out as, it covered really pretty, almost like a flawless finish. I just wish it was a tad bit darker for me. But I'll go ahead and um, check in as soon as I finish my makeup. And of course, I will check in at end of day. So let's Okay, it's end of day. So it's been 12 hours since I put on this foundation, um, I did not touch up or powder anymore since uh, this morning at 12 hours ago. So let's see what did this bad boy do. Once again, I got I have slight breaking up on the chin. It's kind of missing on my nose, a little bit on my chin, but my cheeks are are okay but again it's kind of looking a little muddy and I don't know if you can necessarily see it so let's zoom in wow so this is what it looks like zoomed in after 12 hours I'm glad my husband's eyesight isn't that good so anyways you can kind of see how it's pulled away from my nose and I don't know why I'm saying nose like that um, a little bit on my forehead. You can kind of see it breaking up and on my chin It's looking it's looking a little little sad a little sad where it's broken up So the rest of the cheeks you can see Let it focus You can see that it did well on the cheeks, but again the sides of my nose nose forehead and chin just aren't the prettiest not that it's always pretty all right so i know you guys are probably not excited i learned how to use the zoom lens that lens that far because that was getting all up in my business so okay overall how do i feel after a 12 hour day um my makeup does look not very pretty but again i didn't touch up i didn't blot i didn't do anything the whole day so after 12 hours i guess it's okay um but i don't know and i need to find the price and put that either up here or up there to let you know how much it is i just don't know that it's necessarily any better than some drugstore brands or it's just, 
I think it's okay after 12 hours, but it's not anything that I would say you need to spend more money on it. But I liked how it looked in the morning and you know, maybe if I blotted and touched up throughout the day, it would look better. So this is 12 hours just on its own. I don't mean to keep ram ram rambling. It's called rambling. Um, but anyways, that's kind of the end of the day. And I'm sorry I learned how to use the zoom lens way better than normal because that was some scary stuff. So I hope this helps you understand if you want to buy the Jouer foundation or not. And maybe it is time for me to do a head-to-head -head, um, competition with some of these higher end with drugstores. That might uh, be fun. I did that last year with a couple foundations, made them go head-to-head. -head, so it might be time to do that again. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this all day wear test on the Jouer foundation. Absolutely was kind of freaked out, you know, when I first put it on, but it did go on very nice. It's give, it gives my skin a really pretty look to it. I probably wish I would have gone maybe one tone deeper. That's my only drawback for the Jouer, so I may have to order another one to mix and or just try to find a better shade match for me. But I am looking forward to seeing what this foundation looks like at the end of the day. Hopefully it will look as good as it did going into my day. Fingers crossed. I love great foundations and I'm not afraid to have another one. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and you have a choice. So let's make it a great one. Until next time.